that seems so real in the night You think it could have been a sign And you wonder right or wrong Is it really only in your mind? Hey, good morning. It's Matt from Treasure Seeker and Wednesday, day one of a seven day series where the camera's gonna follow me around see what it is that I do every day. Uh, just give you a, a background on what we did. Wednesday is typically my slow day. Uh, we've had four or five very busy days. Uh, we did a lot of scrapping. Uh, we, I think it's probably five or six trips to the scrapyard since Thursday or Friday. Almost all of that has been steel. We've been keeping all the other stuff behind. Today we bring all the other stuff in. Let me show you what we're bringing. Okay, we've got there's just some more steel there. This is all brass. All right, we got a little bit of brass in there. This is all aluminum, and we got some aluminum irony there. But bucket full of aluminum. And that's a bucket of steel. Microwave has already been stripped. That's the grill. That part of the grill is all steel. And that part of the grill is all cast aluminum. That's all going today. We did get a refrigerator. Um, supposedly works. We're going to test it. However, down there, there's supposed to be a pin in the door that fits there. We can't seem to find that. So unless we can fix that problem, we scrap the refrigerator. Alright, we've got... Not sure exactly what this is. Probably brass. Got a bucket full of uh, number one or number two wire. Uh, we've got... If I can zoom in on it. A full bucket full of copper. We got a couple of aluminum copper rads, a nice size motor, some more steel, and some more steel. And there's a bucket of brass to go with the other brass. That actually is more steel. And that's what's left over from a air conditioner that we got the rads from. So that's what we got. Alright, so that's the load of, load of scrap we're going to be bringing in. We'll load it up to the truck, bring it to the scrapyard, and then we got some other stuff to do today. Alright, we're here at the scrapyard. Um, we got $129. 14 of it was 200 pounds of light iron. The rest of it was cast aluminum, stainless steel, brass, copper, motors, some aluminum fins on copper. Not too bad. Uh, we start our day out with $129. Now we got some personal stuff I have to take care of. Uh, later on today we're going to go to uh, a storage auction. where They've got a storage unit going up for auction. And uh, we'll see if we can buy some stuff there. So until then. Alright, we have one more stop to make that's uh, business related. I have a partner with me today and kind of forgot to mention he had uh, six or seven cell phones at work so uh, we're at AT&T uh, one of their stores and uh, he's gonna see if we could sell them to them we have a running bet um, whether or not he's gonna make more money than I do with the scrap that I had in the car uh, he didn't expect me to get as much scrap so he doesn't think he's gonna win this bet I'm at $129 we'll see what he gets for his cell phones and then uh, like I said then I have some personal stuff after that but um, we'll be at a storage unit auction this afternoon so that should be a lot of fun so until then I'll let you know how this works out too with the with the running bet we have running for today so see you in a little bit all right guys we just got to the storage unit uh, it's all-star storage in Windsor, Connecticut. 
We're about 20 minutes to auction time. We've got a few people mingling around. I can't take the camera in to show you the auction, but if we get something, obviously we'll uh, have the camera rolling when we clean it out. I'll just turn around and show you what's going on. That's the storage facility. We've got a line of cars. We've got a few people around. It actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, I've seen it a lot more people at auction, so maybe this weather is keeping some people away. Anyway, uh, we'll do the auction and hopefully we'll come back and we'll show you what we okay, got. Okay, we got one unit. Uh, we paid $75. I might have overpaid for the unit, but uh, let me show you what's in here. Uh, first thing we saw was obviously the stereo, which is kind of old. Turntable. Just like Home Depot, like tools, like concrete anchors. This is interesting. We got a bunch of uh, craft material, actually, some dress making stuff. Got some patterns in there. Nice little dresser there. Another end table there. And that filing cabinet is scrap. Fortunately, it's filled with magazines. I have to get rid of the magazines and scrap to get that. We got a washing machine underneath there. Uh, that'll go for scrap. And it looks like we've got probably a sewing machine. We also got four decent speakers to go with the stereo. So we'll see what happens. We'll get it all out of here, bring it back in to the shop, and see what we've got. All right, we're back at the shop. We've got some of the stuff back from the storage unit. Some of it's still up there. But, uh, let me show you a little bit about what we found. Alright, this is a Singer sewing machine. We haven't really looked to see the model number yet. And of course, uh, a table that goes along with it. And we've got a turntable, stereo, we've got four speakers that go with it. But this is probably the heart of the unit. Not only this, but there's a four draw lateral uh, filing cabinet filled with sewing supplies patterns, so obviously the person's some kind of a dress designer, dressmaker, so that's still in the storage unit, that's part of what we're doing tomorrow, and uh, that's that. So we're basically, uh, we're done for the day, we're going to do a little bit of cleaning up here, and then uh, we'll get started again in the morning. So tomorrow is Thursday. See what we do on a Thursday. We have one auction that I know of we're, that we're going to attend. We've got a unit to clean out. Maybe we'll end up with two or three. And we'll see what we got. That's it for Wednesday, day one. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Till then, keep your eyes open, your head on a swivel, and you too can make money doing this.